Everyone, I'm Tom Powell. Linda has the night off. We're glad you could join us. Our other big story tonight, a father's pain. He is questioning why the Allen County prosecutor has not filed charges yet in his son's homicide. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose sat down with him to discuss the case from last November. I'm not just going to sit back and just let this go. Raymond Cowan is a man on a mission. In November of 2018, his 25 year old son, Brendan Fletcher, was shot as he sat in the front seat of a car in the Kroger parking lot on West State Boulevard. Cowan says detectives told him that after interviewing Brendan's two friends who were also in the car at the time, they determined a man in the back seat of that car shot Brendan twice during an argument about marijuana. Cowan says he's had several meetings with people within the prosecutor's office, including Karen Richards, and doesn't understand why charges haven't been filed. They know who did it. I mean, it's why? Why is this person still out there? Why has nothing been charged with this? A person died. They have everything showing who did it and who died. I mean, it's it's. Confusing. He describes Brendan as a sports fanatic with a good head for politics who loved his family and friends and liked working at Omnisource. He says he and his wife hope that resolution in the case might help them sleep at night. I think that if the parents decide, let it go to a jury and see what the jury does, if nothing happens, fine, at least it went somewhere. He says he feels like it's a slap in his family's face for the prosecutor not to file charges. It's like the night, night, the night never happened. Like my son never died. No, he did die and they have everything pointing at who did it, all the evidence, ballistics, witnesses, I and mean, what else do you need in a case to, to push a case forward? Cowan says he won't rest until his son's killer is brought to justice. I'm not giving up until something is done. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC. And we reached out to the prosecutor's office but did not get a response today. If you know anything about this case, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers. The number is there on your screen. It's 436-STOP. That's 436-7867. All right, let's talk.